at 10,000 miles a year. Whoa. So I've been doing my fair share of stalking the uh, Porsche website and I've been learning a lot the last couple of weeks. Coincidentally, one of my subscribers just a few days ago, Ted, very, very happy to have you. Welcome to the channel. Commented on one of the videos asking me specifically if I could make a video giving information on how to work a deal on the Cayenne base. Now, Porsche, actually, first of all, if you also say Porsche, help me out, click the like button for me. So the Porsche Cayenne base. Guys, if you're looking at a Porsche Cayenne base, you want to make sure that it's coming at the very least with the premium package, maybe some other standalone features, such as the vehicle I'm going to be using as the example for this video and not like what the dealer likes to use as the example for the advertised special that he may be putting out. For those of you who don't know me and you're coming on to this video as a first timer, I want to introduce myself. My name is Ari Janessian and I run a car buying service based out of Boston, Massachusetts called Boston Automotive Consulting. We help new car buyers land the very, very best deal regardless if they're going to be purchasing, financing, or leasing the vehicles that they ask us for our help with. So if you haven't already and you appreciate solid how-to videos, especially when it comes to how to negotiate brand new cars and what to expect at the dealership, please consider subscribing. Glad we got that out of the way. However, there's going to be a gentleman right here just staring at you for a couple minutes. Never mind him, weirdo. So, diving right in to this video. Ted, guys, whoever's watching this, curious as to how to work a Cayenne deal. It's super, super simple, guys. Cayennes, they're the bread and butter. They're the, they're the glue that hold Porsche sales in place throughout the year. Right, right now, if you're looking at a Cayenne and you don't know if you should be pursuing the 2018 or the 2019, for those of you who don't mind a previous year model, given the fact that it has been updated for 2019, your best bet is to pursue a 2018 and even more so doing it as a cash deal. For those of you that logged on looking for the 2019 tips, that's going to be the primary focus of this video. And the MSRP that I'm going to be using for the sake of this video is $76,980. Basically how this works is, is that Porsche has a markup that's comparable to Audi. The dealer has their dealer invoice at six and a half percent in the front, another three and a half percent in the back end, and then another two percent. That's what's considered a reserve that the dealer principal strictly instructs is sales managers not to give up. It's very, very difficult to get the full 12% off of a Porsche, but you've got to keep in mind on a Cayenne, it's a lot easier than say like a 911. If you're going to be targeting purchasing, financing, or leasing, you want to be targeting anywhere between eight and 9% of the Porsche. I wonder how many times I've said Porsche so far. Anyway, I'm going to be using 9% as my personal target for the sake of this calculation. Now, if you're going to be targeting that 9%, you want to make sure that you have financing in place if you're not going to be paying in cash. The promo APR is 4.74%, which is actually kind of generous because what I'm about to get to next with the lease variables, if you didn't know before, you're going to find out that Porsche loves to charge a very high APR on their leases. Essentially a 9% discount off of close to a $77,000 Porsche. You're looking at a selling price of $70,000 before any of your, your state sales taxes, your dealers, documentation fee, registration fees, all that stuff. Definitely bring in your own financing and definitely try to push for something that's in stock because the percentages tend to get less and less if they've got to physically bring a car from another dealership. So if you're planning on leasing the Porsche, fantastic idea. You don't want this thing outside of its warranty coverage. Keep that in mind. Now I'm going to be doing something in this video that I don't typically do in the other videos and I'm going to be giving it a shot if it's helpful at all. What I'm going to be doing is breaking down Porsche's credit tier ratings and how your credit score affects what money factor or what interest rate you're going to be getting charged on the lease. Now, Porsche has four different tiers of credit approval, basically level one, two, three, and four. Anything above a 740 credit score is considered level one. Level two is scores between 700 and 739. Level three are scores 650 to 699. Level four you may want to do yourself a favor and not consider leasing this Porsche at all. 
Let me tell you why. So on level one tier approval, Porsche charges a 0.00280 money factor. For those of you who don't know what a 0.00280 money factor translates into, that translates to about a 6.72% APR. When you go down to a level two, they add 0.0002. Level three, they add 0.0004. And on level four, they add a 0.00 a 0 0.00160. Basically on level four, you'd be getting charged roughly a 10.5% APR. So anywhere on level one and level two is considered prime. Like guys, if you're anywhere below a 700 credit score, consider financing the Porsche instead. However, if you're in level two, what you wanna do is this. Plug in 0 0.00280 as your money factor, even if you may be a level two. Them calling in a favor to Porsche Financial Services asking for a tier bump is completely possible. Don't lose your hopes on getting it at 0 0.00280 money factor just yet. The sweet spot for the residual this month in particular is 39 months and it's at a 58% residual if you're leasing for 10,000 miles a year. 15,000 would be at 55%. Going after this 9% discount on this $77,000 Cayenne base, if I were to plug all of this into a lease calculator, with just our inception fees, like your first payment, registration, acquisition at 995, and I've got a dealer doc fee in here as well, close to 3,000 do at start. At 10,000 miles a year, we're at just a touch over $1,000 a month on that $77,000 Cayenne. Now, this is assuming you can get 9% off, guys. The target should really be anywhere between 8 and 10. If you're able to get 9, then you're getting a really, really good deal, especially this early on in the year. It's quite possible if you wait it out until closer to the end of the year or maybe during one of those major sales events, more than likely reaching 9% will get a lot easier and hitting 12 shouldn't be ruled out however it's very difficult unless it's sort of towards like the end of the year on a car that's been sitting there for quite some time now another way to avoid the hefty finance charge that comes with porsche is doing what's called multiple security deposits you're going to see a box pop up on the very top right what i talk about in this video is multiple security deposits and what you're doing when you're giving multiple payments up front you're basically setting aside a bunch of payments and buying down the money factor or the interest rate rather of the lease and you'd be getting all that money back at the end as opposed to just putting a ton of cash down to buy down the payment. Feel free to look at that video and if you've got any questions regarding that, feel free to comment below or reach out to me via email. My email is ari at bostonauto.net. So guys, I hope that this video helped you. Ted, I hope you're satisfied after watching this. 9% off if you can get it. Thousand bucks a month would be fantastic with three grand down on the $77,000 Porsche. If you haven't already and you enjoyed everything that you watched regarding new car buying tips, such as the video I just made on the Porsche Cayenne, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you next time.